Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be speaking on OSINT, also known as open source intelligence. If you guys are new to the topic, don't worry, we're gonna cover a lot. So you guys know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let's continue growing the channel. Let's have some fun and jump onto the desktop. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So we're just gonna go over what OSINT is and a few tools to demonstrate. And we're gonna be demonstrating that on my site and on me, InfoSecPat. So we just go out to a, you know, a website, say, for example, we're going to go after InfoSec Pat in this case. And before we even get started with that, what is OSINT, right? I gave a little de brief description uh, moments ago, but in this case, OSINT stands for open source intelligence, which refers to legally gathering information about an individual or an actual organization, right? So and this is all free and you can use public resources, public sources like the Internet, and we're going to go ahead and utilize some public stuff that we can look up me. So in practice, it tends to mean the information found on the internet, right? So that's pretty much what it is. And who are we going to target in this case? We're going to target InfoSec Pat. And this is my site. And we're going to go over a few tools that, you know, I use on a daily basis or on an external engagement. So there's a whole bunch of tools. You can just Google, you know, top OSINT tools like Maltigo, there's Spiderfoot I use, built with uh, Intelligent X, that's awesome. You can look at phone numbers, domains, and all that good stuff, docsearch.io, and so on, Recon uh, NG, The Harvester, Shodan, and we're gonna showcase, like I said, a few of them. So you can just go ahead and research on that, go ahead and X that out. So I found this awesome, and I have it actually, not on this one, actually, I wanna do it right now, I wanna save it. This is not my regular pen testing distro, this is my my video distro. So there's some awesome, awesome, awesome OSINT tools out here that you can check out on this table of contexts, right? So the first one here I want to do is hunter.io. This is a tool that you should definitely have in your mailbox or not your mailbox, your toolbox. It's been a long day and it's not even that late. All right. So I'm going to do infosecpat.com. Okay. It is right here. Let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see. So if we click on this, we can see there's not many people, right? It's only myself. So the confidence score is 88%. So we can verify this and 100%, right? We can see that it is. Let's see, we can add this to a campaign. We can say, okay, this is InfoSec Pat's organization. We can add a campaign and utilize that. So what is this company about? You know, InfoSec Pat is a cybersecurity training company that offers cybersecurity coaching and courses, blah, 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 blah. So you can see here, <clears throat> in my case, I have a scratchy throat, I'm sorry. But in my case, it's pretty much the first name at the domain. So normally you would see, you know, obviously we can see this email here, and this is a couple of the uh, sources, right? Obviously, if you don't have permission to do this against the domain or against a organization or a person, don't do it, right? This is obviously if you have permission and I have permission to do it on myself. So I want to go ahead and showcase that, right? So the next thing we can do, and I did a video on this, so you can check that out in my playlist, uh, Google dorking, right? So what is Google dorking? We can check out different sites. I did it again on myself. You can do in URL. So this is searches for specific uh, keywords within your URL, in title, file type. So say, for example, you're looking for any confidential data that has a PDF, Excel spreadsheet with some, you know, salaries in it, maybe, or, you know, the list goes on and on, just using imagination. We can do link. This searches for websites that link a specific URL, a cache. This is definitely a good one because maybe it's indexed in Google by Google info related, you know, all in title, all in URL in tech. These are, you know, this is an actual good little cheat sheet that I might steal myself because I just found this and I just have a lot of these, you know, in my little uh, notepad and my hacker notes. So this is definitely a good one. 
So if you guys want to take a snippet, I just Googled it and it's on stationx.net slash Google dash dorking dash commands. All right. So the next one here is Shodan. A lot of people should know this, especially if you're doing any external pen testing. And again, I want to go ahead and use myself. So I want to go ahead and do infosecpat. All right. So infosecpat.com. We can see that. Let's go ahead and search this. I am already logged in. All right. So there's, I want to go ahead and ping it. Let's go ahead and ping my site and let's go ahead and wait. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. All right. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Let me go ahead and ping that. Whoops. I guess it's uh it's a go ahead day. All right. I want to go ahead and reset, remove all this and try this again. All right. So we can see my IP address is 162. Let's go ahead and use this instead of my, instead of my DNS name. See if this gets any luck. Well, while it's waiting and okay. So we see here, we have some information on my site and obviously this is all public information. So, you know, we can see this and this is interesting because it says there's vulnerabilities. There's some found as an open SSH. I know about this, but there's nothing on my site that you can hack. There's no information. It's just dummy data and data about me and there's no files. And you can see all the ports that are open on my, you know, on my site, which it is monitored. So. But yeah, anyhow, and the last one here, we can use this. Did I already show this? I already think I showed this. Oh, no, no, the OSINT framework. So let me go ahead and uh, bring this in. So OSINT framework is definitely a good framework to utilize in order for you to gather information, right? So this is this gathers information for free, right? These are free tools and resources right? With the intention to help people find free open source intelligent resources. So you can see, you can come down here, you can see it uses Google dork, you, can, you know, Google hacking, you can go out there and see what this is all about. And I went over this in a video prior, so I'm not going to speak on that. And you can see to update the AR, ARF.json file in the format, you can see that you can find that in the folder and blah, blah, blah. You can copy this. And this is this example of data. You can put your URL and you can submit the pull request and you can support him happy hunting. And this is their site right here. Okay. So, you know, usernames, uh, let me come back up. Username, email, domain name, IP images, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And, and there's the obvious stuff, right? Let me go ahead and show, uh, speak on that. So obviously there's the obvious, like I was saying, you have Instagram, you have LinkedIn, you have Facebook, you have Reddit, you have all the social media platforms that you can utilize to do some OSINT because you'll find some interesting information out there. I found some badges out there. I found interesting stuff on the interwebs on different social media platforms, right? Some people want to take a selfie and their computers in the back. Maybe we can do some OSINT against that organization, find out what applications they're using. Maybe they have an application open so we can get that validation. And after that, we can maybe impersonate someone. We can go on doing that social engineering and do all that SE fun stuff. But that concludes this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any tools or priority tools that you use, please leave it in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to hearing from that or well, from you guys on that. So thank you so much for viewing. And if you guys are going to HackSpaceCon this week, I'll see you out there. Have a good one and bless up.